My name is Amira Rahim and I run a pretty kicking artist group called Profit From Your Paintings. I'm a full-time painter and now artist educator. And I love what I do and I wanted to hop on really quickly and share a little bit of a different topic, something that's been uh, kind of coming up a lot in my personal life. And I figured, you know what? Hey, it's probably a collective issue or sentiment, right? And that is self-sabotage. So I was literally on my way out the door. Um, I was supposed to get a mani-pedi. <laughs> and I just literally, I just felt it heavy on my heart. I was like, wow, this is why I've been self-sabotaging. This is why I've self-sabotaged and this is how I can overcome it. And so I wanted to share this with you guys because sometimes the best way to get something done is to just do it, right? Done is better than perfect. Please let me know in the comments where you're tuning in from. If you're alive, uh, let me know what city and state or country, if you're global. I'm based in Los Angeles, California right now. If you are ready to overcome all the things that have been holding you stuck, right? So if you've been doing the work and you've been clearing and purging, I have a lot of big changes I'm making in my life right now. Uh, yeah, so it kind of reminds me of something I was listening to yesterday. I was watching uh, this documentary series and inside it said, the problem is the solution. The problem is the solution. And I was like, like it's one of those things where like it doesn't mean much, you know, until it means what it needs to mean, if it resonates. And so this was kind of that same situation where it's like the problem that I'm facing might actually be the solution. Uh, so what I wanted to share was how do we self-sabotage ourselves? I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that I'm speaking to artists, but this honestly could apply to anyone right now. <laughs> and I've spent so much of the past couple of years like talking to artists, talking to my audience. But the truth is we're all dealing with creative blocks. We're all dealing with wanting to see things come to life. and after you've done the the healing and um core cutting and therapy and letting go of relationships and family relationships or whatever the case is or switching jobs switching housing relocating after you do all these things and have better habits and take care of your health and you do all that you still can run up against probably the biggest obstacle that you're ever going to face in life and that is yourself let's just call it what it is right um, and I can testify to that firsthand because I have seen a lot of self-sabotage in these past couple of days. And specifically today, I, I, there was something I wanted to do and I was literally whining out loud like a baby, like, oh man, I don't want to do this. And it used to be so easy for me to do this, but I'm just one person. And sometimes you can get in your own way because you're spread too thin or you're just, you know, you, you just over done you've done too much and so that one thing you're trying to do you're like oh i can't do this anymore because it's been a while right needless to say i did something now this is not related to the thing that i did but i'm going to share it i posted a painting a crop of a painting not like a full piece but i posted a crop of a painting on my instagram and i also shared a little bit of poetry which i don't normally do but I just sat there and like wrote something out. I was feeling it. It felt right. I posted it and I walked away. And then I felt the critics come up, right? Because let's just face it. Anytime we, we post something on Instagram, that's an accomplishment in and of itself, right? Taking the photo, editing the photo, coming up with a good caption, adding the hashtags, making sure you post it at a decent time of the day. That all of that is like an accomplishment in and of itself, right? But then you can get in your own way because you can self-sabotage and say, well, what if this doesn't get the amount of likes that I wanted? What if my audience doesn't resonate with this? What if people don't like what I said? What if I didn't edit the photo good enough, right? What if I made a mistake, basically? What if I made a mistake? And um, it can really, stop you from wanting to post again one of the fastest way to grow your instagram is just by being consistent and posting a couple times a day or every day especially if you have high quality content that other people want to share and comment on right 
it's about going viral with certain platforms. But how can you do that if you're constantly self-sabotaging yourself? And I realized this is it. This is how I've been self-sabotaging myself. And I'm gonna share this and I wonder if it's true for you. By focusing on the result or the perceived result, you can self-sabotage yourself. Kind of, kind of like a loopy sentence to say out loud. But um, I'm speaking to anyone right now who knows that they're about to make magic, know that they're about to paint things they've never painted before or take risk in their art business that they've never taken before. And you're ready, right? Like you've done the homework, you've done the skills, like you're ready, but there's something that fights you when you start to do the thing that you set out to do. And I believe, at least right now in this moment, it is the attachment to the result. So let's say, and here's how you can beat it. I'm just gonna give you the, the, the beans right now. The way you beat being attached to the result, which is getting in your own way and, and self-sabotaging yourself, is by letting go of the idea that you know what the result is even going to be. And this is something that I kind of have been doing for years and I've been I've been really meaning to put this into words for other artists because um, you guys know I run better than art school. And this conversation came up in the alumni group and one of the alumni asked, how do you what do you do like when you set goals and you start to get afraid? Right. So let's say you have a goal right now of. I want to sell five paintings by the end of the month, right? I would like to sell five paintings by the end of the month. And I want these paintings to be like good work. I want to feel proud of the work that I put on my website. And I want to like safely communicate to the customers. I want to do the great marketing. I want to send out the newsletter, do all these things, right? <clears throat> and, I, and at the end of it, I want to have at least five of these paintings sold. If this is the result, and it's not a bad result, right? But let's just say that that's the result we're going for. We, it's okay to set that as your result, but leave room for surprise, right? So if you get attached to the result of, okay, I gotta sell these five paintings or else I'm a loser, <laughs> you know? It's like two extremes. It's like, yay, I'm a real artist. Or like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna crawl back in my hole because no one wants wants what I'm putting out, right? We all go through that as creatives, as musicians, as painters, as writers, right? It's that fear, that fear, that self-sabotage. And the biggest hack is that I've seen is this realizing the result can also lead to other results that are unforeseen. In other words, serendipity or momentum, right? So if you guys listen to uh, like Abraham Hicks or something, before I even knew what these people were talking about, I was already utilizing this in my art business as an emerging artist. And that is this idea of momentum. And so I talk about this a lot in Instagram, right? Your job right now is to get the ball rolling. Your job is not to figure out how many likes one post is gonna get you today. Your job is not even to determine if this particular painting that you posted on your Instagram is gonna sell. Your job is to get in the habit of doing what you love and feeling good about it. That's pretty much it, right? Like that's that's kind of why we, we're here, to figure out what we love, then to do the thing we love and to feel good when we're doing the thing we love, right? That's what I believe. So a lot of the way I kind of approach painting is like, if it feels good, I'm gonna keep doing this. If these colors feel good together, I'm going to tap into that a little bit more. So why not? Why? It's like we can be kind of like really receptive and open when it comes to like the art making. Right. But when it comes to real life, we kind of get stuck and we kind of fall apart. And I'm just here to let you know that that's OK. It could be a little bit of self-sabotage coming in and you're probably attaching yourself to one result without realizing, wait a second, that one painting that you posted, you don't know if it's gonna sell in a couple of weeks, but what eyes is this gonna attract to, and I don't mean attract in terms of like uh, for um, popularity, it's not really about that, but like in terms of a business, there are thousands, if not tens of thousands of multi-million dollar companies that are looking for artists that create work like you, right? 
So they could easily be browsing Instagram one day and see a post that you posted when you were at your highest frequency, when you were feeling good, when you were confident, when you weren't attached, when there was no sense of lack or scarcity, you weren't, you weren't concerned about the result. It was like you already felt it in your being that, yeah, this is it. And I know this is a good thing and I'm going to keep doing this good thing, right? And so this may lead to a licensing deal. This may lead to another deal or a collaboration or an opportunity to speak or teach or write or, or help or share or raise money um, or be featured in a show. I hope that makes sense, guys. You get what I mean? And if this is resonating even the slightest, then I would invite you to just do something that feels scary right now but it's kind of gnawing at your side, do it simply because you know deep down you really wanna try it. And just let go of the result of what your ego says it needs to produce or what it needs to mean in this moment because the truth is we don't really know what any of this means at any given moment, right? Like we don't have that upper eagle eye lens to, to zoom down and look at our life and go, oh, on January 14th, so-and-so did this decision and then the algorithm rhythm clicked that way and then this company saw that and then next thing you know, she got uh, invited here or she was introduced to this person through email and this business opportunity came through. It's like, we don't have that type of eagle eye lens to, to see, right? Cause we're just in it. We're down here. We're doing it. We're holding ourselves together, <laughs> you know? Um, so if you do something a little bit fun, a little bit weird, uh, sh share it, you know, post it on your Instagram. Um, and it, for you, if it's like me, it could just be sharing a painting on Instagram. You know, I know it may seem like, oh, why would you worry about that? You have 80,000 followers on Instagram, but it's like, nah, <laughs> I kind of still think about that. Right. I still have to curate my feed like anyone else. And if I'm not in that vibration and, and, and practicing actively, then it could easily become a thing that I resist, right? And what you resist persists. And so if you guys have a goal right now, I would love to hear in the comment section, what's one goal that maybe you would like to um, set an intention for or something that you know you've been meaning to do. And every time you go to do it, like those little ugh, whispers, even your, your little inner child is just like, no, like I don't wanna do my homework, but you know it's good for you, right? Like I don't wanna eat my vitamins. I don't wanna work out. I don't wanna make this smoothie. I don't wanna um, get 30 minutes of sunlight today. I don't wanna go walk my dog. I don't, you know, these things, but you know deep down, you're gonna feel so much better when you do it. And for me, that is sharing my art online, even if I don't feel like it's perfect, even if I don't feel like it's good enough, right? Putting work on my website, getting people interested in my art so that they can buy it. And then I feel like, yay, like that's still the best, that's like a, the, the best feeling for me, right? But it's not the only good feeling. The good feeling is like, man, I took those photos today. I could have took a nap, but I just like took the photos, right? I, I could have watched TV another day or something. I could have uh got busy doing a bazillion other busy work things that look productive right but i just buckered down i let myself cry i let myself feel all the feels and then i got to work so if you guys do anything that is slightly scary tag me on instagram i'll share you on my stories i would love for us to support each other i'm also going to share a link to my private facebook group if you're not already in it and we can continue this conversation over there it is for artists that are looking to grow and expand their business by creating work that is in demand for today's art market. And uh, I would love to see you guys inside of that group. And let's continue this conversation. I really am glad that I just hopped on here because yeah, <laughs> didn't plan on it, was literally going out the door. Um, maybe the nail salon's gonna close soon, but that's okay. This was totally worth it because I had resistance to doing this too. And now I feel so much better because it's like, wow, you did it. You went live today. You said something that was on your heart and you just did it. You didn't worry, you know, if it was 14 days into the month. Oh man, you should have did that a month ago. You should have did that a year ago, right? All those voices will come up or so and so's already doing it or they already right it's like so easy to beat up on ourselves but deep down the reason why we're doing that is because we think we know the result we think we know how this is going to end up and if one person benefited from this live stream then psh, i've done my job right so hopefully this inspires you some way where i might invite 
um, artists to have some more, uh, yeah, kind of down to earth conversations. So Celia said, thank you very much. I just opened my Instagram account, very nervous and needed to do it a long time ago, but now I'm doing it. Yes, yeah, Celia, share something on Instagram, tune out the noise, speak your truth, girl, and tag me when you do, I'll repost it, okay? Guys, if you do anything slightly scary on Instagram, I will share it on my stories as well. You can just come up with a hashtag for that. But um, thank you all so much. Karen said, it's great to see your belief in yourself. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Yes. So let's look fear in the face this year and just say, I see you fear, but back up, right? I'm going to choose love today. I'm going to choose to love myself. I'm going to choose to love my purpose. I'm going to choose to love the intentions that I set for myself. And I'm going to love this life that I get to live, right? And if your life is just, well, a little bit of hustle, a little bit of sweat and tears to get your art off the ground, then dag on it. You better own it. <laughs> you better own it, sister, because ain't nobody going to do it for you, right? Um, even me. So I'm speaking to myself first because I get in my own way just like anybody else. And I have no excuse. Like I know my paintings sell. I know how to make art that sells. Um, so it's like, well, why aren't you posting more paintings, Amira? <laughs> why are you selling more paintings? Self-sabotage. <laughs> That's the clue. Okay. And so, um, just set, just, just realize like the results are going to take you to places you can't imagine. And it's going to be so much more worth it than just one tiny little post or algorithm. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Love you all. Miss you all. <laughs> I know you guys are like, ah, oh, some people miss being in the eight weeks. I miss you guys too. But the job of the eight weeks is for you to finish and get out and keep doing you. Okay. All right, guys. Bye and have a good evening.